That's really cool. And there's just there's just one more lesson that I want to share with the listener here. So what it comes down to is the way you invest your time when you're trying to build a business and make money. We just looked at the Secrets of Success dashboard and let's be honest, right? There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of moving pieces. You got credit systems and upsells and stuff. And you know, that's probably not something that a solopreneur who is early in their journey is going to be able to build. And if they did try to build something, build something that looked like that, it would take months to finally dial in. But let's look at what happens after that. There is basically zero time invested on Russell's part from what I can understand, right? Like he doesn't have to go and and, and and teach the additional lessons like they're already in there. They're ready to be purchased when people are ready. So that's the the mentality that that you should take in your business, or at least the mentality I like to take into my business. You know, I love building out free courses and all this stuff, which take time up front, right? It, it, it takes an investment of time, but the more time you invest up front, the easier your life is going to be down the road. And, and you really have to to delay the gratification if you want the easy life. Like I don't sell anything, you know, one-to-one. I don't worry about, you know, diving into conversations with people who end up buying my stuff. Everything was done on the front end. Now I just have my fulfillment is two hours a month, you know, every other week. That's my fulfillment. And and that's the, that's the, the point that I want to hammer home for the listener is if you do what's hard now, then life becomes easy. Whereas if you do what's easy now, life becomes hard. We see that all the time on Facebook. Uh, the flip side of that, I guess I should say, is is if you scroll Facebook and you're in the make money online space or the entrepreneurship space, you're always going to see someone on your feed who's like, oh, for the next three people, I'm offering one-on-one support, right? You know, it's like, that's like that. When I see that offer, I know their business is not going very well because what are they trying to do? They're trying to get the money up front and they'll fulfill on it later, meaning they haven't built anything. They're just like, hey, I'm giving one-on-one coaching to any to the next three people who want to pay me $5,000 a month. So they take their $15,000 up front, but now they have to fulfill on those coaching services for the next three months, which you know might be more than that, might be less than that, where they're like committed to showing up for other people. Well, that's because they, they didn't put any work on the front end. You know, Maybe they developed skills over time, but they didn't build anything on the front end. So they, now... They did what's easy first. Collecting the money is the easy part, but then life becomes hard. And those are the people that you always see burn out. I mean, how many burnout stories have you seen on Facebook where it's like, oh, I built my business to $40,000 a month. And then, you know, I, I wanted to blow it all up because I hated life and because I was stressed. Like, I've never been stressed, you know, I mean, I've been stressed in life, but yeah. like, I've never, never like, it, it's never come crashing down because I was overworked. It's become crashing down because I made some bad decisions. I've documented that, I think, on this podcast in the past. You know, 2018, 2019 was it was a tough year for me. But you got to just be willing to build something up front or make the offer greater up front. And that, that can be as simple as offering bonuses if you're an affiliate. Yep. Instead of just going out there and spamming your links to some offer, create some bonuses, create some systems, create some value ads. And then that's how affiliate marketing gets easy. Yeah. Just to summarize it, you know, you have to be willing to put in the work, mm-hmm. you know, you put in the work. Like for example, my program, my Spanish program, it took me like four months to get it, <laughs> to get it done, you know, longer than I expected, but I was working for four months, you know, and after that lunch, you know, I was able to relax a little more, you know, because now everything was done and now I have, I'm able to just, focus on different things, but those four months were hard work, you know, and I was just pushing myself, pushing myself. When I was working at the restaurant, the first six months I was working at the restaurant and then working on my business too. You know, those six months were hell, you know, they were so difficult. You know, I was away from my family. I was still working 50 hours a week and I was still working two to three hours a day on my business. You get me? So you have to be willing to put in the hard work. And then after that, after you put in the hard work, then you'll be able to relax and basically focus on other things. Absolutely. And that's when you can, that's when it gets exciting. And that's when you can start looking towards the future. So uh, 